Uh, good afternoon. I wanted to have uh, to have Mr. Ahmed Abu El Sud, UNDP GF Karachi Project Chief Technical Advisor. Uh, Confess has recently enrolled to Karachi Project, and I would like to thank you, Mr. El Sud, for allowing some, uh, some time from your busy schedule to speak about the project and sustainable development goals, six clean water and sanitation. My name is Said, and I'll be one of your hosts today. Let me introduce my co host, Fatima. Good afternoon, Mr. Ahmed El Sud. It's a great pleasure to have you as our guest today. Water and sanitation are at the core of sustainable development in the range of services they provide and depend poverty reduction, economic growth, and environmental sustainability. Today, on UN Water Day, we would like to speak to you about access to clean water for everyone. Yes. Our first question to you. What is the main challenge for clean water supply in the world? Yeah, the main, uh, this is a very good question because the clean water is not the water we have it in the rivers or in the streams. Clean water uh, means the water that uh, you can have it in the uh, potable water, which is the drinking water and sanit for uh, municipal water. And this is uh, requires some uh, treatment. So first of all, we have to have the water itself and uh, the, the water on the globe is unbalanced, uh, distributed unbalanced. It, there is some, uh, some countries have plenty of water and some countries have severe droughts uh, because there, is, there are arid countries and uh, wet countries. That's, this is one of the challenges of uh, providing uh, safe water and sanitation. Uh, the other uh, challenge with uh, the availability of funds to uh, supply the drinking water to all the citizens and to all population. And this is requires uh, funds for treatment and funds for uh, building infrastructure networks to de develop, to uh, transfer, transport the water to uh, the, the citizens. So this is the main challenges we have. The quantity of the water in the globe is not, is limited while the population is increasing so you, the, the, the per capita fresh water availability is decreasing with time. And this is also one of our challenges that uh, we faced. In addition to that, we have another challenge uh, related to the climate change. You, climate change is, is, is a phenomenon that happened in the last uh, 50 years because of the uh, in the industrial revolution and the, 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 the increase of emission of greenhouse gases in the air. And this is make the, world, the, the global temperature is increasing and affected the uh, availability of water in some areas where we, uh, last year, we have the first city to, to be uh, out of water, which is Cape Town in South Africa because of climate change. So climate change also is one of the challenges we are facing in water resources management. So interesting. Mm -hmm. um, second question is, UN Water has created a global framework to meet 2030 agenda for sustainable development. How much has been done in this respect and has the novel coronavirus impaired the process? Yeah, there is a lot of activities has been done by, by, by the, the countries by the, the nations, because UN is just uh, helping the countries to, to, to achieve the sustainable, sustainable development goals. But each country in the world it has its own plan and its own uh, uh, targets to, to achieve for sustainable development goals. And uh, unfortunately, uh, during the past two years, the, the, in the 2020 and the, the, this year, we, uh, the whole world is hit by coronavirus, and this is really take the, uh, the uh, priorities of the countries to face this coronavirus pandemic. So uh, it affects definitely the uh, implementation of the sustainable development goals. Uh, but we hope that during this year, uh, this pandemic will be uh, controlled and then we can recover uh, about the, uh, the problems of the sustainable development goals. But uh, however, the countries still in, uh, 
working on improving water and sanitation services, uh, looking for rational water use, uh, uh, especially here in Azerbaijan. Uh, they, they started last year to, to, to have an, a, a national plan for uh, rational water use in municipal and agriculture, which will uh, lead to the achievement of this uh, six, uh, goal six of the sustainable development goals. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next question. How do you evaluate current situation with water and sanitation services in Azerbaijan? The, the uh, municipal water and sanitation services uh, is, is improving very much in the past 10 years and the other two journalistic company is uh, developing a, a, the, and expanding the uh, network for water uh, supply, for municipal water supply, but sanitation services still uh, not the same at the same level of uh, the uh, water services because, especially in the region, not in, in Baku, uh, we have a very good coverage with water and sanitation services, but uh, some areas in the region still lack of the sanitation services. And this is normal in, uh, in the countries uh, when you have develop, developing your uh, services, uh, usually the uh, municipal water uh, supply take a lead than the, uh, the, uh, the uh, drainage and the uh, sewage treatment facilities. And our project helped uh, the, the country to, to implement one of the technologies, uh, low cost technologies for uh, treating uh, raw sewage using uh, eco-friendly uh, uh, mechanism, which is called the constructed wetland. And we implement this in Hajj Gabul in uh, Shervan uh, municipality, and it works very fine. And we hope that this can be a, a lead to uh, expand the use of such technologies in other areas of Azerbaijan. Thank you. Um, can you share some examples of successful water and sanitation services management in the world? I, I can say one of the uh, most successful uh, and most aggressive program for uh, water uh, and sanitation is uh, in Israel, because Israel has very low uh, amount of available water, fresh water in the world. Per capita, uh, fresh water is the lowest. And that's why they applied very uh, advanced technologies in treating the sewage water even, and reuse it in uh, agriculture services. And also they treated all the, uh, uh, the, the uh, drainage uh, water from agriculture and reuse it again. So they, they have a very uh, extensive program for uh, uh, treating the wastewater in order to reuse it for agriculture and uh, for uh, other uh, purposes. Also, uh, and this is one of the uh, very successful programs. And in, in, uh, they also uh, expanded the use of drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation all over the country in order to reduce the amount uh, uh, of water for agriculture services. Uh, also one of the uh, successful programs for uh, water supply is in, uh, in Egypt, in, in, in uh, because they succeeded, the government succeeded to cover 99% of the population with clean water, potable water. But uh, as the, the, the situation in Azerbaijan, the sanitation services is still low, still about 20% coverage. And this is, as I said, because the, uh, sew uh, the, the treatment of uh, sewage uh, water requires huge investment uh, and needs long, be longer period of implementation time. That's why you always you have good coverage of municipal water supply, but uh, the, the wastewater treatment uh, is lacking behind uh, until you uh, secure the funds and the time to implement the wastewater treatment plans. Thank you for your answer. Next question. 
Canada's UNDP Democratic Project reflects the goals and aims of UN Water. Yes, the UNDP uh, uh, is, is a funded project by uh, Global Environment Facilities to help both Azerbaijan and Georgia implementing the strategic action program for transboundary water uh, uh, management. And uh, the project made innovative, uh, introduced innovative uh, so solutions for rational water use in both countries. For example, uh, we uh, developing uh, the uh, a mobile app for uh, municipal water leak detection. And this mobile application uh, will be used by youth, by all the nations to, when you see a leak, you just take a picture of this leak by your mobile and send it to other Su uh, website. And they will have the geographical location uh, for this leak so they can go the, immediately send their maintenance people to reduce the amount of wastewater uh, from leakage. Also uh, with IDEA NGO in, uh, in Baku, we are implementing one of the uh, first training centers for uh, aquaponic system. And this aquaponic system means you can grow fish and plant with the same water. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an advanced technology. It will use much less water for uh, plant planting the, the crops and also for uh, growing the fish. And this will be the first training center in the Caucasian uh, region. And this will be uh, uh, officially opened next month uh, or in early May. So we have, we, uh, and, and as I said also uh, in uh, Shirvan, we, uh, uh, constructed a wetland, artificial wetland, to treat the raw sewage using uh, uh, environmental technology, uh, environmental friendly, friendly technology we, with low cost. And this is also treated the, west, the, the raw waste or uh, waste water from uh, about two, 200 houses before the water goes to uh, Lake Hajgabur. So these are some examples of how can the, the UNDPG uh, Kora 2 project help the uh, Azerbaijan and Georgia in achieving a better uh, management of uh, their water resources and also leading to achieve the sustainable development goal number six for water, better water and sanitation services. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, next question is, uh, can you tell us more about the initiative which has led to this project? Yes. As I, I, I mentioned about these initiatives, but we have also one of the uh, most important initiative is to strengthen the cooperation between Azerbaijan and Georgia in water resources management. To have transboundary river uh, in the Kura River, uh, transboundary management of this uh, a river and also to uh, reduce the pollution going to the, the river from uh, municipal, uh, from industrial and municipal uh, waste. And uh, we uh, will uh, develop uh, or, or produce about 2,000 uh, reusable bags and we will uh, distribute these reusable bags uh, next month to be able to use it when you go to the supermarket, and instead of having plastic bags, we uh, you can use these reusable bags so to reduce the amount of plastic bags. That because plastic is one of the major source of pollution for uh, the uh, riverian environment, and also we uh, uh, working with uh, our uh, 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 colleagues in the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of uh, Ecology. Uh, to promote uh, the what, uh, uh, an online portal we developed for teaching school students on uh, water uh, resources uh, issues. And this e-learning portal, you can yourself and uh, your colleagues can go in online and uh, enter to this portal and get 15 classes about water, different water issues. And you can, uh, and it's, uh, it's animated videos. You can listen to the video and then answer the questions and then you can get a, your certificate for this thing. So this is one of the major initiatives also we have done 
uh, with the cooperation with the Ministry of Ecology and the Ministry of Education here in Azerbaijan. Very interesting, thank you. Thanks. Uh, very great, thanks. What are the outcomes of the Kura 2 project? The, the main outcome of the Kura 2 project uh, varies because we were targeting uh, five different uh, components. So we uh, have on the, uh, on the high level, technical level, uh, we applied uh, some methodologies for environment, uh, uh, calculating or estimating the ecological flow for the rivers in order to make these rivers healthy. And we trained uh, uh, experts from Azerbaijan on how to implement this methodology in both uh, uh, two uh, sub-basins in Chamkir Chai and in Alijan Chai rivers. And now the, 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 we have a, a very well trained staff in this uh, technology. Uh, also, uh, we succeeded to, to help the two countries uh, uh, in Azerbaijan and Georgia to uh, building their capacities on water resources management. We uh, have young professionals uh, in the two countries and we developed uh, training courses which consist of more than 20 training uh, topics. And uh, we brought, brought uh, high professional international experts from all over the world to train this staff on water resources management. And uh, in order to ensure sustainability for, of this, we also developed the uh, online portal for all the training materials for these training courses and put it in uh, this portal and will make it available for the two countries, Azerbaijan and Georgia, in order to utilize and any, you, in the future when you uh, graduated, you will be graduated and you want to work in water management and you need to get some courses, you can enter to this portal and you will find 20 different topics of trainings from international experts and you can use them to uh, raise your capacities and prepare yourself for getting uh, such jobs for water resources management in the country. Um, that's great. Um, thank you very thank much. You. Um, how do you think the community will benefit from these outcomes? The community uh, uh, will feel, especially in Azerbaijan, uh, in some areas of the region, they, they, they face uh, droughts. And uh, they face, uh, last, especially last year, and uh, uh, as you may know, uh, His Excellency the President uh, issued a declaration uh, last year to, for the approval of a, a two-year plan for rational water use in the country to face this drought. And this rational water use in, uh, has to, to have initiatives uh, and innovative solutions for water uh, uses. And the project uh, activities like the aquaponics, like the uh, constructed wetland in Hajjabul, and the uh, trainings that we for the for the youth, for the new generations on how to save water and how to treat water more more wisely, all this will lead to uh, the achievement of a better management of water resources, and this is will allow more water in the rivers for other for all uses. So the people in the region who are suffering from lack of water or from polluted water uh, uh, of, of high pollution of water, they will feel more safe because they will have more water in the river and also the water will be more cleaner and less uh, pollution. Thank you. Your answer is so interesting. Uh, and the last question for you. Clean water and sanitation is sustainable development goal six. How can we encourage more adolescents' involvement in this field? Yeah, we we have to uh, involvement of citizens and people, and uh, uh, they they have to be active. They cannot. You, we cannot blame or put the blame on the government to solve all all our solu or all problems. Like if we have problem in water and sanitation or uh, problem in pollution of the water, the river, 
this is come from human activities. It come from you and me and uh, uh, and everybody around this river who can contribute to the pollution. So what we need to do is to be active and to do more to use water wisely. We have to use water rationally at home. If you don't leave the tap open uh, while you are brushing your teeth, don't uh, use the, uh, the, 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 the low flushing uh, toilets uh, in, the, in the new buildings. Uh, when you uh, ha take a shower, don't take much time taking your shower because all this water is waste. And this, the, the, the drop of water that you wasted here, maybe in the region, it will make a life for other people. So we have to think more wisely how to uh, make water, use water rationally in order to save it for other people in the country and also in the globe. Because as I said, the amount of fresh water availability in the, in the globe is limited while the population is increasing Every year we have more uh, people and limited resources. So the per capita water per person, amount of water per year is limited, is decreasing. So we have to be wise and maybe in the future, if the climate change impact as the, 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 the scientists predicting, it will reduce the flooding so we will have more challenges uh, in, in front of us. That's why uh, the government itself will put uh, investment to improve the services and to improve the water and sanitation. But humans also, you and me and uh, your friends have a role to play. So please send this message to all your friends. Please treat water more wisely and treat, motor, treat water and don't pollute the water because this water is, means life for other people and for us. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and ideas with us and our audience, Mr. Lesoud. We would like to invite you and your team to our school as soon as the quarantine is lifted up to continue our conversation and for you to observe our participation in Croatia project. Thank you so much. Thanks for your friends and for you and for the school for uh, allowing me to take this opportunity to speak uh, to these uh, very uh, excellent uh, students and hope that you will be the next generation and the future leaders of the country and uh, for the water and uh, for uh, sanitation to improve uh, these services and to be active in the uh, water resources management in Azerbaijan. Um, Mr. Sue, thank you for your time. We'd like to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.